I um, hate I hate being on camera, so this is this is the hard part for me. I just I can't. I'll, I'll probably never watch it because I just I can't watch myself. It's not. I, I, just, I don't. I can't. Oh, I, I appreciate uh, you doing it. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind being on camera and like knowing it's out there, but don't ask me to watch it. I might get to it one day. I might. My name is Bobby Carlisto. I graduated in 2004. When I took this class, I was a senior. Couldn't help it, it was the first year they did it. I probably would have done it earlier if I had the opportunity. I thought, oh, video production, cool, I'll make a movie, I'll get my friends, it'll be fun, or whatever. About a week into the class, I thought, had this epiphany that people actually get paid to do this. You can go out, you can get a job making movies. Once I realized I could go into this as a, as a career, uh, it was a no-brainer. Uh, I, I immediately started changing all my college applications so that I could work in production. Eventually got accepted to Quinnipiac University, went into their mass communications program, made a couple of short films there, uh, had a great time, had an experience that I would never take back. My first film that came out of Goldstein's class was called Foreign Messenger. It was the worst angsty piece of high school thriller pseudo-intellectual drama that's ever come out of this class. I have absolutely no doubt, nobody's ever topped me uh, in, that, in that department. I entered it in the first ever Eastchester High School Film Festival and uh, I came away with best editing and best cinematography. It was a bit of a process after graduating Quinnipiac University, uh, but eventually I became a editor at Spike uh, down in the city. Spike's a Viacom owned network that I'm sure most of you get in your in your cable packages at home and I primarily work promoting mixed martial arts uh, specifically Bellator MMA got to promote some some on-air movies so whenever Spike airs movies I get to work on promotions for for those it's a cool job you meet a lot of cool people simply put if this program didn't exist, I would be a starving artist right now. I might be completely unemployed. But originally I planned on going in illustration and design and frankly there's only like one or two positions in any given job. For one job in production, there's dozens. Do you wanna know how important a production program is? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to sit down at the end of a movie and wait for the credits to be done. That's how many people worked on that movie. That's how many production jobs there are for one piece. One piece.